Today on Yezu Bite Size, we're going to talk about how to add an external monitor to your Yezu FTDX10. The first thing we're going to need to do is turn off the power to your radio, disconnect the cables and turn the radio around. If you look at the back of the FTDX10, you will notice there's an external display socket here. This is called a DVI-D connector and depending on what type of monitor you have and what connection it has, you may need one of two types of cable. So the first type of cable here is a DVI-D to DVI-D cable. One end plugs into the radio, making sure it goes the right way around. And then you can tighten up the thumb screws. And then the other type goes into the monitor. There's also another type of connection you may use if you're perhaps using a television or something similar. This is a special cable which is readily available. It has a DVI-D connector on one end and an HDMI connector on the other. So the next thing you're going to want to do after you've reconnected all the cables to your radio is switch the radio back on and now you will need to enable the external monitor output. In order to do that you press the function button, you touch on display setting you touch on EXT monitor and then where you see EXT display make sure it's highlighted in red you press where it says off you touch that and then you rotate the function knob until it says on you now know that the external monitor is now displaying the same as the internal screen of the radio if you want to change the screen resolution then you can highlight where it press where it says 800 by 480 just touch that and then rotate the function knob and now that changes the output resolution of the radio you now press back back and you get to the main frequency display you may find when using an HDMI device that you get an unsupported signal or similar error message on the screen. This may be because your television or other HDMI monitor may not support the screen resolution from the radio. So in this case you may need to change it. So at the moment if we highlight where it says pixel 800 by 480 if we press on that and rotate the knob we've now changed the resolution to 800 by 600 which in this television's case is supported, but you will see that the screen is very small. So what you may have to do using the television or monitors controls, you may have to zoom the image. And then if we press back and back again to the frequency display, you now see that the television is displaying the output from the radio.